Welcome to the CodeUp podcast. CodeUp is an international coding school for women and trans and non-gender conforming people. We are headquartered in Barcelona, but we also have remote programs that people can do from anywhere around the world. And we want to help people acquire the skills to work within the tech space. I'm Anna, and I'm the host of the show. And in this episode, I chatted with Hugh, who's in our 26-week part-time data analytics program. And right now, she's in the 13th week, so she's deep in the machine learning modules. So I hope you guys enjoy this conversation with Hugh and listening in on her journey. Great. Hugh, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast. Do you want to just quickly introduce yourself? Where are you from? What's your background? Yeah, uh, so my name is Hyo Jung, or just Hyo. I'm from South Korea. And I moved to Barcelona five years ago just to improve my Spanish at first. <laughs> then, then I started a PhD here. I originally was a research scientist. I majored in biotechnology in Seoul, Korea, and then I did master in neuroscience. And before joining Kodob, I was doing PhD related to neuroscience. Interesting. And how did you end up deciding to learn to code from doing that PhD to deciding I'm going to go to a coding bootcamp and study data analytics? So I was in my third year of PhD program and things weren't going well. I wasn't happy at all. So I was determined that it was time for me to leave the academia and redirect my career, but I had no clue how or where to begin with. Then suddenly I realized that I used to deal with these terabytes of experimental data in the laboratory. And I processed them with Excel at first until someone recommended me to use Python in order to speed up the process. But at first I Googled, copied and pasted someone else's code because I didn't know how to do it by myself. And, and that was my first sneak peek on coding and I was intrigued, honestly. And, and then it occurred to me that if I learned how to code, maybe it could be a good bridge for me to uh, make a transition from academia to industry. So that's how I decided to join a bootcamp and learn about data analytics. Cool. And how did you hear about CodeUp? I Googled. <laughs> I googled every bootcamp in Barcelona, looking for the curriculum and teachers, good teachers. But I also was specifically looking for a community where I could feel less alienated because of my identity. And I was looking for a kind of diversified environment. So when I found out about Code of in Google, it was just perfect. I attended their information session about data analytics before the pandemic. Luckily, I got the chance to meet in person with Katrina and Joanna. So, and, and after the information session, I, I sent my application right away. Amazing. So Katrina is the CEO of CodeUp and Joanna is the CTO of CodeUp. And she's also the one that's designed the data analytics curriculum. So you're a current student in the data analytics program. What yeah. week are you in and how many weeks is it in total? It's week 13 this week, I really, and it's total 26 weeks. Right, because you're doing the part-time data analytics course yes it's a part-time course we have twice or three times a week lectures and how is the course going great <laughs> each course is three hours long it's a mixture of lecture and hands-on practices and between each classes we are given with these exercises as well and it's not trivial but i i think i'm learning a lot cool 
So before you started this data analytics course, were you scared to learn to code? Was there any fear in, you know, I'm going to do this new thing? Will it be difficult? Will I be able to do it? Yeah, of course, because I had almost no experience in coding before. But I like learning new things. That was the first thing. And also there are so many testimonials of people on the internet that who transitioned from different backgrounds to tech professional who calls every day, you know? So it's been very inspiring to hear about these people and their stories about how bravely they changed their field, showing nothing is impossible really. So it encouraged me a lot to overcome the doubt and have some confidence that maybe I can do it as well. And so where are you at in the data analytics program? What have you guys learned up to this point? Now we are doing machine learning modules, machine learning and statistics. Before we started by learning how to code in Python and a little bit of data analysis and then making queries using SQL and in relational databases using remote servers and now machine learning. Do you know what's coming up? Do you know what you're going to be learning in the next following weeks? I think we are learning more models of machine learning and then there will be project weeks in August and September we'll have oh, several weeks of career coaching. Awesome. So you're basically doing this entire program remotely. How has that remote experience been like? What's it like doing a remote boot camp? Uh, to be honest, I was hesitant at first when I heard that our boot camp was going to be remote because it wasn't the original plan. But the nationwide lockdown in Spain had started just a few days before our boot camp launch, and nobody could have expected that, no? And we thought it'd be something temporary, but it's been three months now. But I think we all got quite um, comfortable with remote now. And I'm surprised how effective it has been. And also there, there are pros and cons, of course, but I'm trying to focus on the positive side of it. Like I'm getting used to using online communication tools for work and developing certain aptitudes required in this new normality. So, and it's good to have your mind busy during the lockdown. Yeah. I definitely agree. It's really nice to stay busy and not to have too much free time. Yeah. And what are your classmates like? They are great. We are four in total, all female from different countries like Brazil, India, Spain, and South Korea. And they are all smart and kind and nice, but we've never met in person yet. So I'm looking forward to meeting them eventually. Yeah. And what are your instructors like in the data analytics course? They are good and very sharp in what they teach. And they are patient with newbies like me. And they always give these detailed feedback about my work and it helps me a lot to go fast. What would you say is one of their strengths? One of the things that really uh, makes them stand out? In case of Nandan and Javier, Nandan taught us Python and SQL databases. And now we are with Javi, who is teaching machine learning. Both have different backgrounds. They are not from originally from STEM or computer science. And still, they are highly skilled data scientists. So it's so cool to have them as our teacher. Also, they are kind of our, I don't know, future models in some way. You know? your inspiration yes awesome are there any highlights or eureka moments that you've had up to now what's been kind of one of the best things that's happened during the course 
there were no very dramatic moments, but there were moments like I recap what we learned last week or or last month, and I'm like, did I really spend two days in a row to solve this problem? Because now I can see it, uh, very easily or it looks obvious so there are these tiny moments of awareness that i'm progressing and i'm up improving yeah you can see how huge the learning curve is yeah so your background is in neuroscience and now you're entering the world of data analytics are there any differences or similarities that you see between these two worlds or these two industries I think both researcher and data analysts are quite similar in that they have to always deal with a set of data and analyze them correctly, draw conclusions of them. The only difference may be that by being a research analyst, you have to prepare your own data by doing experiments, but in the case of data analyst, you you find your data about uh, from your computer by sitting on your desk. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. So I'm curious, now that you're studying data analytics, you have quite a few weeks ahead of you, but do you have an idea of what you think you want to do when you're done? What kind of career you want to pursue afterwards? I'd like to start working as a data analytics in healthcare industry if possible because it's something still related to my past career path but in by working in health industry I can have more direct connection to the real data human data so that's what I thought but during the course we face data from different fields data about housing data about clients of a shopping mall and i find those very interesting as well so at this point i'm just interested in starting my career as an analyst in somewhere i can learn a lot rather than something neuroscience or healthcare is there anything else you want to maybe share about your coding journey about going from having a non-technical background into this data analytics course? Before joining the bootcamp, I registered myself to a website called DataCamp, and they have these interactive online courses for beginners. And I found that very helpful and interesting. So it kind of encouraged me to dig further into this field if i haven't done that part maybe i i was too afraid to just start with the bootcamp so maybe trying some online courses like that or trying to meet people from the bootcamp and talk to them what they offer and what will you accomplish out of it can be helpful to convince you if you want to really start a bootcamp or not. Yeah. And data analytics is quite a rapidly developing field and there's more and more people that want to go into it. But in the past, it wasn't maybe as popular. So I'm just curious, what do people say back in South Korea when you tell them, oh, I've decided to, you know, do a bit of a career change and go into the direction of data analytics? Yeah. So for general publics, they don't distinguish well between data science, data analytics, data engineering yet, but they are all acquainted with this term data science because a few years ago there was this DeepMind's AlphaGo matching with human and AI and that that Go game is quite popular in Korea and the player is super popular so every Korean's eyes were on that game and that's how people realized that AI and, and machine learning area has 
progressed a lot and the data science field is just booming. And actually that was the moment when many students and even people from other fields started to redirect their career into the data science. Cool, so it's actually quite popular back home. Yeah. So I'm actually kind of curious, when was the first time that you became aware of this world of data analytics, of people using programming languages, of the world of code? So some of my family members are programmers. <laughs> my partner is programmer, my brother is as well. So I knew that there are people working with programming and they've been recommending me about learning how to code and, and joining in this data science field for a while, but I didn't listen to them because I didn't see how it's possible for me. But it was like an inception, you know? They've been talking to me this, this kind of stuff for years and years, and finally there was a moment I realized that maybe I should look at it. What, what it is about and see if I can really do it. Yeah, so they basically planted the seed and finally it's come to life. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. Do you have any final words for someone interested in studying data analytics but still kind of hesitant? So I'm enjoying a lot of what I'm learning. So I would definitely recommend if you're serious about it in case you have doubts trying some online courses in advance or talking to the people from the boot camp might help you to make the right decision awesome thank you so much Hio. this was uh, so interesting to hear how you went from neuroscience into uh, data analytics Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you, Anna. Thanks for listening to this episode of the podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find out more about CodeOp and the programs we offer, visit us on our website, codeop.tech, or any of our social channels. And if you want to get in touch, give us a call, message us, or send us an email at info at codeop.tech.